Hi, this is Amy. I am back. Um, I'm going to show you how I take care of some frosting options with these little tiny mini bun cakes. They're so cute. They come as a, um, a pan of six and you use a half a box of cake mix so you can either make half at a time or um, whatever you want to do or the whole thing. So I'm going to show you a couple of different options. Um, my daughter happens to be dairy free so she wanted a dairy free option. Now these this cake mix is actually a gluten-free, dairy-free mix, um, so that makes it easy. And then to do a dairy-free frosting, all we did was take some powdered sugar and we added a little bit of almond milk to it. Now, she just wanted um, plain white, but you could add dark chocolate almond milk to it and you get a chocolate frosting, so this is really, really simple. Um, we did it enough so that um, it's runny. So I've got our little mini um, whisk. And then this is one of our easy cup, um, easy read measuring cups. This is the four cup version. And I mixed everything up in there. And now we're just going to sit here and we're going to pour the frosting over it. And she now can have a dairy free treat that will make her very happy. Plus, this looks gorgeous. And could you imagine giving this to people or serving it to guests? Um, but just something really, really simple and not expensive at all. Um, option number two is you actually could um, go ahead and get a can of frosting, throw it in your microwave, and soften it and kind of get the same effect and you can have any flavor frosting you want. Um, the next option is actually one of my favorites and all I did was heat up um, some heavy whipping cream and once that was warm, not boiling, I added some of my favorite chocolate chips to it. In this case, it was Ghirardelli, but you could use Nestle or whatever brand you like. And then um, I'm actually gonna take this and I can either use the spoon and just pour it over, but I wanna see if I can get this in this little bowl, see if it works. Oh yeah, it's gonna work. But all I did was dunk it. And then look how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? So now I can go back and I can leave this as chocolate. I could put sprinkles on it. Um, I could put fun stuff on it. I Let's see, what else could I do? Oh, I can make a s'more version and I could sprinkle graham cracker crumbs over it and stuff a couple of marshmallows in the middle. Um, you can really do whatever you want. You could do chopped candies over the top. You could do like a mint candy. Um, you could even add mint extract to the chocolate, so you have a mint um, frosting. You could drizzle more frosting over it if that's not enough. You could really go in so many different directions. So whatever flavor cake you like and whatever flavor frosting. So here's three different frosting um, things that you can do, either just the, the chocolate whipping cream ganache, um, the almond milk and powdered sugar, or honestly just melt a can of frosting. That's all you need to do. So I hope you enjoy this. Hope you have fun with this idea. This is something really simple and easy to get kids involved with for gifts for Christmas or for any other time of year that you might have something fun that you want to do something for, school bake sales and things like that. So thanks for watching.